two, one, and we are live. Man, I'm so excited today. Back with another episode of the Agent Revolution podcast where we deconstruct some of the biggest challenges facing today's real estate agent so they can build a sustainable, profitable, and most of all, fulfilling real estate business. I am super excited and still a little hungover today from EXP Con, man, but uh, I'm ready to deliver the value. I got uh, I got my man, Jeremy Johnson, and uh, Miss Candice Taryani. Um, kind of wanted to bring both of you guys on because I want to get some perspective kind of from um, one of the more seasoned agents on our team and, and kind of the new perspective from you, Candice. So why don't we start, um, just give a quick background for those uh, uh, who don't know you. Jeremy, we'll start with you and Candace, you can wrap us up. All right. For you guys, can I, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah, you're loud and clear. All right. All right. So uh, for you guys who don't know who I am, my name is Jeremy Johnson, um, EXP Realty. I've been with the Level Higher Living team my entire real estate career. Um, it just, uh, you know, came from came from an education background and I uh, work here with Mike. I've gotten myself to a place to where, um, you know, this is their words, not mine. One of their top agents here. And uh, so, yeah, here I am. I love, I love where we're at. I'm excited about uh, EXP Realty and uh, my position here with the Love High Living Team. Yes. Glad to have yeah. you brother. Candice. I'm Candice Tariani. I have just hit my one year mark in real estate. And I just moved over, what was it, three, four weeks ago yeah. to the Love Ohio Living Team. And um, I started out basically having pretty much no guidance. And so it's just really nice to have the resources now with this team. And it feels like a team, which is so exciting for me. Yes. And but you yeah, guys my are... background, um, I came from finance and accounting, so completely different. But yep. She's a Kentucky girl, by the way, right? I just found that out. Yeah. Bardstown, Kentucky. That's awesome. Yeah. Did I tell you that? Yeah. No, Jay, Jay told me that. I don't know how he knew that because he's a bourbon drinker, and I guess that's bourbon country. Oh, yes, yes. Yep. Bourbon yep. capital of the world. <laughs> so what we want to do today, the reason why we're doing this, um, this, this kind of impromptu episode of the podcast is that we just want to kind of recap uh, our experience and how we kind of how we saw it through each one of our lenses um, with our own unique uh, experience in the real estate business. And um, I'm going to start with you guys. Um, Jeremy, why don't you go first and kind of tell me about um, some of your biggest takeaways from um, from the from the EXP con that uh, we were at Tuesday through Friday of last week. And uh, tell us everything, man. Um, like, I want to hear, I want to hear. Not everything. everything. Yeah, not everything. You can't. But what, what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Some of that. <laughs> I mean, just tell, like, so what were some of your big takeaways from the event? Uh, so, okay. So, the, my, you know, first, first glance notice, um, as soon as we, as soon as we roll into Las Vegas there, um, just the amount of, um amount of the amount of love and reception that the exp family gets from this company um you know we pulled into the mgm grand and right away it was exp agents everywhere um in signage um you know just welcoming us and um you know walking around and just browsing around some of the things that they had set up for us in the conference center um it was it was really cool to see because this was my first company event um, and just like, just like the effort and the love that EXP put into this to, to, you know, to provide us with this event, you know, there's, there's a, a lot of fun wrapped up into this, but also a lot of education and a lot of great value that they were giving to the people that, um, that made this trip. Um, so right away I felt, I felt one at home, even though I was in a land far away, I felt at home because EXP Realty was there and I know that I'm one of them. And um, so I felt very welcomed and um, cared for there. So, you know, that's the first thing, the first feeling that I got, um, you know, it, when, it, when, when it comes down to the gala event, um, the effort that that took and um, the way they made us feel as a group and for myself, um, receiving an award for the first time um, is standing up in, in, in a room of, you know, 5,000 people. Um, that was just awesome. And uh, yeah, I know 
you know, if any of you saw my Facebook post earlier in the week, just um, the people, um, the way I was positioned and the people that were standing behind me, um, you two included, um, as well as John, um, just like the support and, you know, that I have felt from all of you um, to get to this point. Um, it's just been huge, and um, it was an honor to stand up there and to have have you guys there behind me, um, supporting me, because that's how it's been um, this whole way, this whole journey to um, reaching the success that I have thus far in my career. Yeah, that's awesome, man. And and what I so love about one of the things that stood out to me, and um, one of the things that you had mentioned that, that is this was your first event. And Candace, I know this was your first event as well. Not your first time to Vegas, but Jeremy's first time to Vegas. Um, so one of the one of the things that that I really wanted to make sure and uh, emphasize is especially to those of you who have teams or are on teams is um, this is my first experience to an event like this with team members. And it was infinitely better than any other experience I've ever had. And so for those of you who are on a team or, or, or have teams, I would highly recommend um, attending with your team members because it, be, it just becomes a different experience. I think it becomes less about you and more about them or more about the group, more about we. And, um, you know, Jeremy, one of, the, one of the proudest moments I think I had at that event was – um, when you stood up and, and accepted your award, I, I just thought, man, you know, this is what it's all about. And I know, like, I could tell from you, I was getting texts from you at like six o'clock in the morning this morning. Like, you know, I'm, let's do this. Let's do that. I, you know, I'm <laughs> up, man. And like, that's what, that's what these events do. It's, it's like you, you come back exhausted, but you're, you're fired up, man. And, and right. so, you know, we, we, this morning, like we were, our meeting was very productive. Our, our mastermind, our top producer meeting was very productive. And like the ideas are flowing right now. And I just, I hope we can hang on to that and take that into the fourth quarter and start the year off strong as well. But Candace, um, obviously being uh, the newest person on our team and, um, you know, coming over from a different company and, and having your experience there, um, what what was this event? What did it mean to you? What were some of your biggest takeaways? I mean, Jeremy said it perfectly. Support. That's really what I thought of when I was there. People want to lift you up. And that's not what real estate is. That's not what I've experienced kind of the past year. So just to have that support system. And like we're all in this together and we're sharing our experiences. We're sharing our, our successes and our failures. And you're learning from other people, you know on the panel that was super informative and that really helped me get out of my own head. It's hard. Real estate is really hard. And you want those people who have experienced it all to just mentor you and give them, give you their successes and their failures and to learn from their stuff. So yeah, support completely. And just being with the team, it was really great because I had, I came from a team, but my team was a couple hours away. So I, I haven't had that support, that kind of togetherness. And that's what I really felt in Vegas. Yeah. And one thing I learned about you is like, you know, where everything's at, especially if it's food related. <laughs> when it comes to food. Yes, I do. <laughs> the, the funny thing is though, it's like you, um, you're in really good shape. It's like you eat all this terrible food and you're in really good shape. And I don't know how that works out. No, no, I don't. <laughs> well, I used to bodybuild. So, I mean, not like the bulky bodybuilders, but the bikini yeah. fitness. And so I looked forward to my cheat meals. And so whenever I went out of town, like I looked at restaurants, like what's the best restaurant? And I, so I've been to Vegas a couple times a year for the past couple years. And so, yeah. Well, jokingly, you know, I, I wrote in the description for this podcast is that we would talk about birthday cake Sundays. Uh, and so why don't, you guys, why don't you guys, tell, Jeremy, tell me about you guys' experience at the, at, the, at the Sunday bar. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so planning this trip and all the places that, you know, that a possibility we would have time to visit this particular place, uh, Blacktop, correct? Blacktop. Black Tap. Okay. Yeah. Um, I knew this was her number one place she need, wanted to, to visit because she had, this has been two years in the making um, for this milkshake. And, and, you know, from the moment the wheels touch the ground and we're talking about milkshakes, milkshakes, uh, <laughs> milkshakes right, literally right away. 
Um, so we didn't get there the first night. We were able to do lunch the next day. Um, obviously but for me, I, I don't, I'm not big into desserts. It's not my favorite thing. I will every now and then I'd rather have chips or nachos or something like that for a splurge meal. But, um, but we're doing milkshakes, um, at black tap. So we found it and, um, in the Venetian, um, I'm going with cookie. Like if I'm going to do it, I'm doing something with cookie. If I had to decide between chocolate chip or the cookies and cream, which is like Oreo flavor. I'm like, I'm definitely going cookies and cream here. Um, uh, Candace's picture, they, she didn't have a picture of mine. Maybe she can send to the post the picture of both of ours below later, but yeah, mine had, I a had cake batter. So good with a piece of cake on yeah. top. And everyone messaged me. They're like, how did you eat that? I'm like, well, I took the piece of cake off of it, and then I drank it. But yeah. it was the best milkshake I've ever had in my life. I'm not actually kidding. It was amazing. Mine, mine had a big ice cream sandwich, which was an Oreo uh, with uh, cookies and cream around it. And milkshake was, was amazing. I actually it ended up. Good too. Yeah. I, I um, actually ended up finishing more than she did, but um, I think I might have finished mine. Yeah, I can't <laughs> think. That's why you're <laughs> And I'll add, you guys know, I think I paid for this the rest of the Yeah, day. I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. We were not very smart up until <laughs> Vegas. We're like, this is clean and let's not have any sweets or alcohol or sugar. And then. Yeah. Um, here's some words of wisdom. And stuff. That was dumb. Here's some words of wisdom. Don't ever do Las Vegas after a 15 day cleanse. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Seriously. No. You guys, the first night, you guys were a cheap date, man. You were like pregame a week up to it. You do. Because, I mean, I think by the time we got there, it was the 16 days, we decided we were going to eat eat completely clean, drink clean, nothing. And we're thinking this would be good for us. Well, it is good for your bodies, but when you get there and you just go do everything the opposite, your body just hates you instantly. We paid for it. Yeah, yeah, it was the sugar for sure. It was <laughs> the edge. Yeah, not the alcohol, right? No. No, no. <laughs> so a couple of the highlights I wanted to talk about. Um, well, number one, it was weird because we left Ohio and it was summer and we came back and it was fall. Um, but I'll take that any day. Um, I, I wanted the, the thing I wanted to really touch on, and we touched on it a little bit in our meeting today, is that um, – EXP continues to solve some of the biggest problems for agents, right? Um, you know, when we came over, one, two of the problems that were solved right away um, were, you know, we're being able to build wealth, right? Agents have never had an opportunity to build wealth. And number two, being able to add in passive income. Um, since we've been here, they're solving, you know, age, uh, recruiting and retention problems for agents. Um, they're solving now. We just found out on Friday they're they're going to be providing um, affordable health care for agents, right? And so they continue just to be focused on on making the agent experience better. They they're making it easier to be a real estate agent. They're making real estate fun again. And so like it's so it's so cool to be in alignment with a company that their main focus is is you, the agent. And so that's those are those are a couple things that really stood out to me. I don't know how you guys felt about the whole express offers thing, but I thought that was really, really cool. Uh, I don't know how many people are having conversations, especially locally here in our market about iBuyers because I guess we're either fortunate or unfortunate, but the iBuyers are not in our marketplace yet, but they're coming. And it, uh, this will allow us an opportunity to be uh, more than prepared. In fact, we can probably get a jump start on some of the competitors like OfferPad and uh, open door if we're starting into this express offers program early it offers us another layer of um of of <coughs> being valuable in front of our clients another in another option of what we can offer clients in order to help them sell their homes quickly and effectively so i was really really excited about that what did you guys what was your take on the whole iBuyer thing so I'll start, um, you know, for those of you who aren't exactly sure what the iBuyer means, like Mike said, it's just um, these companies um, providing express um, offers on real estate, trying to purchase them, you know, at, at a fair price and make transactions for sellers quick and easy as possible. Um, like I, 
it's funny that, that that this came up at the conference because I do have a client that I'm working with that works for a company that's sort of like an eye buyer. Um, so I'm kind of help I'm helping them work through that. Um, but so what they what EXP Express offers is saying, um, and I plan on going further in depth with this um, at, later. Um, so they're going to offer our sellers, you know, a fair market cash price um, to get to get the house sold quickly. Um, this how this can help us as realtors. It will help give our clients another option. Um, it will give, you know, because sometimes sellers have to, they're under contract for the house that they're going to buy, but they have to get rid of their house like right now in order to get that or meet a certain deadline. I know it's happened to both of you this year. It's happened to me quite a few times this year. Um, I've been fortunate enough to, you know, get that done, but it's a very stressful situation for our clients and for us. Um, and sometimes it doesn't always work out. So what Express Offers is going to do is um, give our clients the opportunity to get their property so um, not a lot of days on the market and um, you know a, ca a cash deal as well yep Candace, how yeah about you? And I, had never, I had never heard of it before I'm not very familiar with it you know I'm no. newer to real estate so I wasn't sure but I mean I think it's a great opportunity absolutely because I have been in that position where there's a very, very strict deadline and sometimes it doesn't work out. I mean, that's just real estate. So yeah. it's going to be a, a great opportunity. And you know what? You are probably in the majority, Candace, of people who they just they don't know what it is. Right. They have never heard of the iBuyer thing. It's not in our marketplace. And so when you can get a jump start on something like that, which is a, a, a trend right now, one of the statistics they told us is that in Phoenix, Arizona, 40 percent of sellers call the iBuyer before they ever call a realtor. Now, the that that's a lot. Like they have a big big market share when it comes to at least top of mind awareness. Now, of those 40%, only 6% end up listing with the iBuyer. In other words, for whatever reason, they they either determine that the offer's too low or the term they didn't like the terms or whatever. But the reality of it is if they start to figure that out and they've got 40% of the consumer mind share right out of the gate, that's going to get really, really sticky for a lot of you agents out there. And, and you're lucky enough now to where these people are not in our marketplace. So we can kind of pre-plan for that. But it's so neat to be in alignment with a company who's already, they're already, they're already combating that for us. They're already fighting that fight. And so we get to roll that out. We're excited because again, uh, the end result is it just provides more opportunity, not only for our agents, but also for our sellers. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch on, uh, and really this is probably the biggest announcement um, that's come in the last few years, is that our company uh, is officially rolling out affordable health care. And when I say affordable, all you real estate agents out there who don't have to pay your own health insurance, I'm telling you right now, your health insurance sucks if you're paying it. Like our, our insurance is eight, nine hundred bucks a month. Our deductible is like five grand. It's just, it's awful. And this is true for a lot of you guys out there, especially the people who who are, are only real estate agents. In other words, they don't have a spouse that works in another industry or they're carrying full insurance or they're a single mom or dad, right? I mean, this is huge. So, yes. so, yeah. so, and I know this means two different things to, to each one of you guys, but like Jeremy, what, what is, when you heard this, like what were your first thoughts? To be completely honest with you, man, um, the, my first thought is I, I was a little taken back, honestly, because um, that component alone as a father and now a single father um, providing health care for my kids, um, you know, when necessary. Um, so I was uh, it was a little it was it was very moving, honestly, that this as good as it and um, we need to make a, you know make a great living for our families there's the health care issue and um, this I, I'm so excited to see the details of this um, you know it's something that will you know affect affect myself um, and and a lot of families out there you know a lot of a lot of great agents out there who struggle uh, with the health care component uh, like you mentioned, some of the numbers that you guys are paying, it's it's astronomical. And um, 
when I announced that on my Facebook page, I, you know, I did get a little, a couple comments that saying X and Y Z company has been doing this for years. If they were, I, I didn't know about it. Uh, I, I don't know the details of it. Um, I know Al here, he's watching with us, did make a comment a few moments ago. He did say that affordable health care from EXP will make competition nervous. Um, and while that may be that may be true, it, depending on case by case basis, what the agent's needs are, um, but possibly. But to me, that tells me that this company truly does have our best interest in mind and they see this as an issue and they see agents struggling because you know our founder was an agent by himself for many years so he knows this and you know everybody that we were in the room with um sees us as an issue so um whether whether or not it's an attraction tool or not um for me personally it just gives me validation that this company is real they really they really care about you know our struggles and they're literally solving every problem that agents ha are having right and um that's a big one people make life decisions that either steer them away from real estate or take them off their career path because they have to provide health insurance for their families too um so this it's huge yeah, it, yeah. before you uh candace before you comment I just want to, so the, to those people who are, are out there saying, well, so, so and so already offers this, it's it's not about that. You're not looking at it the right way. It's not no. about so and so already offers it. It's, it's like, it's it's like, what other problems is that company solving, right? Right. It's like, are they doing that in addition to X? Are they doing that in 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 addition to Y? Are they right. doing it in addition to Z? It's like. That's what makes it so cool is that we're literally addressing all the problems, not just one. It's all, all of them, all the problems. Yeah. yeah, completely. It's the complete package deal. And this definitely hits home because this morning, as you know, my daughter's sick. I had to go take her to the doctor and I had to say, I don't have insurance. I don't have insurance. My kids don't have insurance. And that's that's definitely stressful. I have to pay out of pocket for everything. And, you know, being a single mom, it's hard for sure. So I'm so excited for it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be big and I, I'm really excited. This will be rolled out by the way. Uh, it will be completely rolled out uh, by March of 2020. So this is not something that's going to take years. I mean, they're effectively trying to roll this out right now and uh, we will get back to you on more of the details of that. Um, you know, real quick, I know we're, we're about eight minutes out and, and you guys got to go, but um I'll tell you, like, so my my biggest takeaway, my my biggest takeaway, like, I, I knew what I was getting into. I've been to one of these events before, um, but I think, like, my biggest takeaway, um, and this company just continues to blow me away because, like, I talk to a lot of agents around here locally in our market, and there's a lot of really good agents, and there's a lot of really good agents that work for local companies because there's a lot of really good local companies, and I worked for one of them, by the way. But I think one of the things that you lose by working at a local company is a nationwide perspective. And what's really important about working at a company that has a nationwide perspective is you get it, it's kind of a it, it's kind of a um, it, it's, it's being able to look to the future. Right. Because a lot of things happen in the major metropolitan markets before they it's like having a crystal ball. A lot of things happen in some of these major metropolitan areas before they ever happen in Dayton. And so we get to we get to collaborate with some of these other agents who are in other marketplaces. And to me, that is the most important thing. That has been the biggest gift to be able to collaborate with some of these top agents around the United States, hear their stories, see what they're facing in their own local markets and being able to apply that into our local market. So the collaboration for me was by far and away the biggest takeaway. The, I wish I could list every person um, who's made an impact on uh, on my business um, at some of these events. How about you guys? What was your biggest, biggest takeaway? You can go first. Um, I mean, I feel like we already touched on it. Just the supportive nature of the company. I mean. Support. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Support. Cool. J-Dog. So, uh, you know, I something we didn't mention early on, um, you know, Candace's decision to join EXP Realty and the Level High Living team, um, you know, something that us as a company 
And um, you and I, you know, within our team is trying to, because what you give back to me personally is what we're trying to give out and that's a value. Um, you know, we it was so cool to see a lot of um, star agents within our company and meet them in person. Uh, one thing that really stuck with me at one of the events we were at, uh, Mr. Michael Reese said, there is no such thing as money. We only have value. Um, so we were, I was able to attract Candace to EXP Realty and the Level Higher Living team with providing with her with value. Um, because while she was doing so well on her own, I will say this, because this did not get mentioned um, in her first year of real estate, she's, you know, about three and a half million by herself. But there is still area <laughs> to grow there's still value to be given. And she recognized that um, the opportunity with EXP and the, EXP and the opportunity with the level higher living team. Um, and, and, you know, that's what she's trying to give back to others as well. Yep. Um, so what this company is giving to us is value. And so that just puts us in a place to where we're able to reach out and give others the same thing that we are receiving. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So definitely, I mean, just its value. Yep. Um, it, it's not about dollars and cents. We need dollars and cents to provide for our families, but that's not going to happen without value. Yep. It's so, it's so true, man. And it was like, that was kind of the biggest paradigm shift for me in my business is when that I started focusing on, on providing value to the consumer, um, whether that consumer was a buyer or seller or, you know, or an agent. Um, the more I focused on adding value to the consumer, the more money I made, you know what I mean? And so our, we like whether people, if people want to hate on us, that's fine. You know what I mean? There's people at other companies that don't like what we do. They report us, they can't stand us. And you know what? Good for you guys. I mean, that's great. Um, but like at the end of the day, we're, what we're focused on is we're focused on adding massive amounts of value. And so we're calling all you brokers out, man, who are, who are not adding value. It's not a, it, at the end of the day, I mean, it's, it's about what you put in your bank account but the more value you can add, you don't have to worry about the money. The money will show up if you're adding value. And so like here at EXP, at the Love Ohio Living Team, we're literally training our agents to add more value into the marketplace. And as a byproduct of that, they will be the highest paid agents in the marketplace. And so, you know, if you are watching this video and you're not a part of our team or a part of our EXP family tree, I would suggest that you hook up with one of the agents that you're seeing on this podcast to find out more that you have an open mind. You may think you know about EXP Realty. But I promise you, you don't unless you've talked to one of us. So, you know, my parting shot here is, you know, make sure that, you know, you, you reach out to someone on our team and our group and find out more about EXP, find out more about, you know, how we're offering healthcare, how we're adding value into our agent's life by wealth building and passive income. Um, and, and you can you can always 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 schedule with me at meetmikewall.com. Jeremy, what's a, a a good way for folks to hook up with you? Uh, so if you can find me, um, you could message me from from this link on my Facebook or my Facebook business page. Um, you can also find all of my contact information on my pages, uh, my phone number, email address. So just go through, um, just go find me on Facebook here. If you have any comments or anything. Drop a comment, send me a personal message, or um, check out my contact information on my page. All right, Candace, how about you? Same as is, so just Facebook. Facebook DM. Yep. Okay, okay, man. This was uh, this was a fun one, man. I, I yeah. love doing these. Uh, I could literally talk about our experience there uh, all day, man. It was so much fun, <laughs> right. and um, you know, it, I think what we're doing is, um, I think what we're doing is just. I, I mean, I feel blessed to be able to do this every day. I really do. And, and if I don't mention this, um, I need to because we're doing actually a free event tomorrow in Columbus, uh, in Columbus, Ohio, not Georgia. And I'll be there. We'll be doing a full two hour class on, uh, on, on being a six figure agent. If you want to uh, go and register for that at 100krealtor.com if you're in or around the Columbus area. Um, let's see. What else do I want to mention? Well, as usual, you know, I love sharing these stories. Uh, EXP, I know, is literally changing agents' financial lives. Do me a big favor. If you know someone that might enjoy the podcast, please, please, please share it with them. If you like the podcast, please go to wherever you listen to podcasts and smash that subscribe button. 
If you ever want to jump on a 30 minute call with myself and strategize about your own personal business or what we're doing here, go to meetmikewall.com. And that's it for this one, folks. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you, Mike. Bye. Bye.